three so this one will be the primary the first coil here and here will be the two secondaries and the back electromotive force from the primary no excuse me the back electromotive force from the secondary will not be going back to the primary where it will go to the other secondary while the back electromotive force of this secondary will flow towards the other secondary thus the primary will be always free from back electromotive force so when you load both not only one because if you load only one the prime the, the back electromotive force will go back to the primary because there will be no other secondary so if you load both the loads both the secondaries with a load uh, so they will produce more than what the entire system consumes to be active with the primary and uh, in I don't know if it goes against thermodynamics I don't think so because thermodynamics is uh, can be applied between two things that already exist but if we are talking about all the energy that is around here and is everywhere everywhere which is in a potential state and uh, is not already available if we transform that potential energy into real energy so the the particle and antiparticle will become both instantly um, real not only potential in a potential state in uh, uh, in the vacuum energy so vacuum energy will become real energy but first let me finish the other two coils and uh, we'll test it we'll see which uh, frequency will be the best and um, for, for the moment that's all have a nice free energy new year <laughs>